Okay, so today we're going to talk about the mean function, um, and that's all we're going to talk about for this video. So the general format for the mean function is, so you have the, the variable name on the left hand side, and then that's assigned the mean function, and inside the mean function, um, you put the matrix name, co a comma, one or two, you put one if you want the average of columns um, and you put two if you want average of rows um, so it's basically the same thing as the sum function and other functions we've been dealing with um, one for column two for rows um, okay so here we're given a matrix A it's the same matrix we've been using for the last couple of videos um, so here we have matrix A and it's a 4x5 matrix and contains these elements and we want to find the mean of columns so um, I'm not going to assign a variable name I'm just going to write the code um, without assigning it to anything so here we have mean um, what we're going to do is this um, we're going to write the mean function and inside of that the first thing we will write is the matrix name here it's a so we'll write a and then we want this mean of each column um, in this matrix so we'll put one um, and if you run this if you run this you'll see that you get 4.25 4.25 5.75 5 and so forth so we'll just we'll just add this up real quick to, to verify that the um, we actually did get the mean that we wanted. So the first one should be 4.25 and that's what we get. So we'll just assume that everything else is right because it's coded in MATLAB so it's it should be right. Um, okay so now we're trying to find the mean of rows the average of all the rows. To do that you write once again you write the mean function and inside that the first thing you write is the matrix name here our matrix is A, um, then you put a comma, and then since we're trying to find um, mean of every row here, all four rows, we're going to write 2, and that will give us mean of rows. So you see, um, you can once again verify if you want, I'm not going to do that because um, we know that it's right. Now, we, what if you want to find the average of entire matrix? What is the, what's the average value um, for this entire matrix? Um, so that's basically saying that if you add up all the elements and then divide, you'll get an average value. What is that value? Um, so if you um, like, we've been doing for other for some cum sum function and whatnot. Um, we'll be nesting the functions. So when you nest functions that means you put a function inside another function so you, you're putting this th this mean function inside this uh, outer mean function so that's called nesting functions so for the inner mean function this one right here the first thing we'll put is the matrix name um, we'll call since we're this is matrix it will put a here comma you can okay now here's the option you can put one or two here um, but depending on what what you put in there, you have to put the other one here. So if I put one inside this one, this min function right here, I would have to put a two here. If I put a two here, I have to put a one here. So it's up to you to decide if you want to put a two here or a one here or a one here and two here. So once again, this is nesting the functions. Um, you have the mean function inside that mean function you put another mean function right here um, so it's basically saying that this is this is basically like a new matrix now so you're putting a new matrix inside of uh, this mean function and then you're putting matrix A inside of this this uh, mean function and if you run this you'll see that you get 4.8 now you can try to verify that and we can we can do that we can just add 6.2 plus 6 we'll just add these values and divide by 4 because that should work um, I believe 3.4 divided by 4 yeah so we get the 
same answer so we know that um, this indeed gives you the overall mean of this entire matrix um, so if you have any questions about the mean function or anything else in general um, let me know thank you for watching